So spring is here and this is my favourite asparagus dish. And so let's do it. For a real taste of spring, you want to pop a frying pan onto the hob, turn the heat between medium and high, and we're going to want some lovely streaky bacon. My preference is smoked, but it is up to you. Lay your bacon into the pan and we're going to want to get this really nice and crispy. So turn your bacon a couple of times and then you want to go in with a little splash of water. If you want to know why I use water to cook bacon, check the video in the link below and I'll explain more. So while the bacon is frying off, we want to prepare the eggs for our hollandaise sauce. So take a large mixing bowl and you want to separate out four to six egg yolks. So take your time, remove any little bits of shell and once you've got your egg yolks in the bowl, give that a little whisk up just to get things started. And do me a favour and quickly hit that subscribe button below. By this point, the bacon should be getting nice and brown and well on its way to crispy. So turn it a few more times, add any more water that you need so we can keep cooking it away for a bit longer. Keep turning every minute or so. We want to take that out of the pan, stick it onto a plate and pop it to one side. And my little trick for this recipe, leave all of that delicious bacon fat in the pan. We're going to use this to cook our asparagus and then we're going to want a saucepan. And to make our hollandaise sauce, we're going to need some unsalted butter. So chuck a nice generous amount of butter into the pan and you want to slowly melt the butter down. Keep the heat nice and low. We don't want to burn Wazette. And once the butter is nicely melted through, pop that to one side, stick another pan onto the heat, pour in some boiling water, and then you want to get the water to a good simmer. So pop your bowl with the egg yolks onto the saucepan and you want to start to whisk the eggs through and very slowly and gently start incorporating your melted butter. So go in with a little splash of your butter, whisk it through and it'll start to get nice and thick and saucy. Once you're starting to get the consistency of a sauce, you want to add a little splash of some white wine vinegar. Keep stirring and then you want to season the sauce with a nice pinch of salt and I like to use some freshly ground black pepper. Add any more butter that you need, give it a quick taste and then you want to take yourself a nice fresh lemon. Cut off a nice slice of your lemon and we want to squeeze a nice little splash of the lemon juice into the hollandaise. Give it one last good whisking up and when you're happy with the consistency, your hollandaise sauce is ready. And very quickly, give the video a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And now the star of the show, our beautiful springtime asparagus. So pop your pan back on the heat and I like to use a little bit of kitchen paper to remove the bits of bacon from the pan just so they don't burn. Turn the heat up high and then to the bacon fat, you want to just chuck in a tiny little knob of butter. Chuck in your asparagus, give it a little pinch of salt and some black pepper. Give it a good tossing up in the butter and the bacon fat. And the trick with asparagus is to not cook it too long. Nice big thick asparagus like this will take about four minutes or so. You just want to get a little bit of charring on there, but you want it to be nice and al dente. So in the few minutes that we're cooking off our asparagus, you want to take your bacon and chop that into pieces. And at this point, our asparagus should be pretty much ready. Turn it a few times in the pan. And when you've got a nice little bit of charring on there, we're ready to serve. So pop Pop your asparagus onto the plate, drizzle the asparagus in your beautiful rich hollandaise sauce and then finish with a nice scattering of our crispy bacon pieces. And this for me is the ultimate taste of spring. So let's get stuck in and I'll see you next time.